we're not just talking about acupuncture, we're talking about Oriental medicine and Western medicine with their different philosophies as much as their different technologies. When you use the reasoning of clinical neurotherapists, whether they're surgeons or neurologists like me, when you use that reasoning and apply this technique, you get positive outcomes. I think it's a pretty natural way to convince yourself this is a useful modality. So in the beginning, you know, this neuroacupuncture has taken off with the idea that there are uh, anatomical ways of approaching the uh, use of acupuncture rather than meridians that had been developed in the past. This approach of the neuroacupuncture has begun to utilize actual neuroanatomy and targeting those particular locations in the brain. That's where the idea of bringing Western medicine into an understanding of that and weaving it with scalp acupuncture becomes highly interesting. Well, neuroacupuncture is actually fantastic for all sorts of conditions. We focus primarily on neurological conditions here, you know, whether it's neuroinflammatory like MS, neurodegenerative like Parkinson's, for example, even psychological issues, trauma, and how we've put trauma in the body, how you know, that, that mind-body connection, and if that's disconnected, we can help to, to reestablish that. This is something that has profoundly changed my patients and thousands of patients of lives that Western medicine had nothing for. So where we're really good at Western medicine, say for example, with neurological diseases, is that we can diagnose from a conventional standpoint, you know, MRI, CT scans, PET scans, you know, ultrasounds, all these, you know, EMG studies, for example. So we can look at maybe this is the area of your brain or this is the area of the part of the nerve, the muscle or the bone or the organ that's having a dysfunction. But then the treatments are only symptomatic. We're not looking at the underlying cause or what's triggering the causes of those imbalances or dysfunctions. Western medicine, the disease was always progressing to get worse. But from an integrated perspective, every disease has a reversal. Right? The body has an innate ability to heal. We just have to give the patient all the tools and the guidance on what to use to get it to do that. And the nice thing about neuroacupuncture is that we're actually able to help patients in a realm of, of diagnosis where conventional medicine really has very little to offer.